very well detailed. Have you, have you painted those lines? Have you printed the lines? Oh, the, uh, what I did was I printed onto the tissue uh, on my printer and then using spray mount I uh, attached the, the tissue to the surface and did that technique all the way around. Mm -hmm. um, the difficult bit of course is tying up the, the riblets so that they are oh. continuous top to bottom. Uh, these are wood so those are balsa with little plywood 164 blades on the end that go into the spars. Yeah. Very good. You've done a very good job. Oh, thank you. It's uh, like a lot of things, you end up rushing stuff. Oh, but uh, they combine the two motors, so you've got two speed controllers linked to the one uh, one throttle. Right, so, so you've got four speed controllers in there, just there's, two? There's only two needed because these are dummies. Ah, right. So oh. it flies quite ha if I put another two motors in, yeah. it'd probably be too powerful, too heavy. I mean, yeah. it's, it's marginal, yeah. but it would be a bit too fast for indoors if I put all four on. It would fly, it would fly very well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I chose the top two in preference to the bottom two because if they're close together, any imbalance in power yeah. won't be so bad. Yes, yes. So notable. Also, it's it's blowing the air over the tail cluster, yeah. which is good for it's controllability. Good for the These yeah. are a bit further outboard. Also, you get a nose down pitch yeah. um, when you open the throttle, which is better than nose up oh, pitch. Oh, right. There you go. Cheers for that. Thank you. Yeah.